Hello everyone! Today's video is sponsored by Scentbird. 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 At this point, I've been using Scentbird for quite a while and I now have a scent for every occasion. It's kind of like when I pick out my outfit, I pick out my scent and what sort of theme or feeling or vibe I'm going for that day. Like, for example, today I went for a citrusy but sort of like musky scent for today's like grunge look. And that's all possible because Scentbird reimagines everything about how people discover, shop for, purchase, and even experience fragrances. It's a great place to begin or deepen your relationship with fragrances and to discover your style and build your collection. Scentbird acts as a place to express your individuality and gives each and every person the power to express themselves through fragrance. Scentbird lets you choose a new designer fragrance every month for just $17. Every month you get to pick what you want to receive, so there are no surprises. They have perfumes and colognes and a lot of unisex options. With each fragrance, you'll get a 30-day supply, so you can try out fragrances before committing to a full-size bottle. That can cost over $150 and sometimes even $300 to $500. You can discover new fragrances by taking a simple quiz on Scentbird. Based on your preferences, previous purchases, and quiz answers, they'll help you find the fragrance that you love. Scentbird carries Prada, Gucci, Versace, and niche brands like Skylar, Heretic, and Confessions of a Rebel, one of my personal favorites. Let's take a look at what I received this month. We have Lactane uh, Provence Vervien, and the notes are Lemon, Verbena, and Petite Grain Bitter Orange. Okay, this one is... this energizes me. It's it's peppy, it's citrusy, it's fresh, it's just energizing. I love it. I would wear this on a day where I needed a little extra pep, maybe. Next, we have Danse Etoile Eau de Parfum from Grace de Monco. The notes are Lily of the Valley, Spicy Geranium, Citrus, Rose, and Accord of Musk. I already feel like I'm gonna love this one. The mix of the florals in this is just so good. I love it. Me personally, this is my kind of scent, so I would just wear it on a regular day. So if you want to be smelling delicious, use my code AMYKASMOR2 for 55% off at Scentbird. That's just a little over $7 for your first month, and it's available in the US and Canada. Thank you so much to Scentbird for sponsoring this video, and let's get on to it. Thanks, 
going on? I'm just really bored. I'd love it, love it if you could give me some drama to follow. So you're not interested in them at all? Like, at all? Because I know them. I could introduce you. Yeah, we're all friends. Mm -hmm. But if you're not interested, I guess I could just tell them that. Since it looks like they are, I could just call them over and let them, let them know that you're just not into that sort of thing. or no? Not usually. I don't know if they prefer makeup or not. I just know that I really want to do something to your face. Yeah, like it's killing me on the inside. Not doing something to your face right now. I won't go like all out or anything. Just do something. I just like 
words, you know? Because I like the nice and dry. So what we do next, let's just use these natural oil absorbing sheets to get whatever we got going on here off. So yeah, hair, greasy, yes. Face, greasy, no. I I go for the face grease because I like the way it looks Personally, for me, I like the greasy face look, like, like here and there and there, generally around the T zone, the T zone, the, the, the T zone. That's what I g g g g g go for, okay? But let's just use this. Just go. Moisturizer do you use? Really? So you were influenced by TikTok then? Right, no, it's okay. It happens often. Well, I can just tell that your skin is screaming. Often these products, they add like extra things to make it smell good or whatever, fragrances or, I don't know, just random things that make no sense to put on skin. And then they just market it with these flashy things like TikTokers or whatever. And it's actually not very good for our skin, so let me just put some moisturizer on you. Okay. Some fragrance-free for sensitive skin moisturizer, okay? Okay. I'm just going to gently pat, 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 pat it on your skin. Pat, 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 pat it. Pat, pat, pat.
does that feel? A little bit better. So I'm not gonna do any moisture or <laughs> moisturizer. I'm not gonna do any foundation on you because your skin isn't necessarily used to it or okay, well either way I don't have your color. We're not the same foundation shade. I know it, you know, whatever you think it may work or whatever, it's just not gonna work. So I mean I can work miracles, but like I can't work miracles, you know. Yeah, I've yet to turn like water into wine or whatever they say, right? Anyway. Where was I? So we're just gonna leave your skin like this because honestly, if you ask me, you actually have really nice skin. Yeah. So would you say it's like like hereditary? Your skin? Like of course you have the breakout and you have some irritation like here from that moisturizer you've been using. But I'm just curious. Does it, like, always have this natural glow to it? Do you drink a lot of water? Is that the thing? Okay, yeah. Oh, interesting. Like, you eat food that's good for you? Yeah. Mm, that must be it. Mm. Yeah, often I just eat Pop-Tarts, um, like, three times a day, and so my skin has a natural dullness to it those weeks. What can you say? Or what can I say? I don't know. I just like pop tarts. Okay. Um, what do I want to do next? Let's deal with. I don't know your face. I just want to just, just I just want to slowly, just want to slowly brush it over with this brush here. Kinda just maybe get the moisturizer in and plus it feels nice, doesn't it? It feels nice. Here I can touch your hair at the same time. Doesn't it feel nice? Right? sort of interested. I'm trying to get them to be like, whoa, I need to ask them out immediately because they are so cool. Yeah? Okay. I'm gonna start with... Let's put on some color. I'm gonna do something similar to what I have on myself right now because I think it would look really good on you. Yeah, okay. So, we're gonna start with just a basic shade here. We're gonna put that all over your eyelids here. This basic shade is gonna be a something that we could build on top of and it'll help the other colors to really pop, okay? There, just right there, okay? Good. Now next, I'm going to add this red right here. And that's gonna go all over your lid. But I'm going to be focusing on the center and just buffing it out. Okay. Buffing it out. This I'm going to pack on pretty thick, okay? 
Also put that red shade on the bottom as well, okay? On the lower lid. Can you look up? Up? Can you look up here for me? Up. Good. Thank you. Look up, up, up. There we go. Good. Now, next, I'm going to... Actually, no, I'm not going to do that yet. Next, I'm going to add some... Eyeliner, okay Now I like this look because I think it could go really well on like any gender, you know I think it could look really punk rock on a guy or a girl so I'm going to like really closely on the top close to your lash line put a thin line of black and a thin line of black on this side as well. It doesn't have to be thick, but it can. You just have to be really good about smudging it. Okay, I'm gonna go on the bottom. Okay, look up for me. Look up here. Okay, I'm gonna get lower down here. Yeah, so you're gonna want a black smudgy liner. Okay, usually I would say you want to do your um, waterline, top and bottom, but I'm not going to do that for you because I don't want to irritate your eyes if it's not used to it. Okay. That's good. Okay, can you look at right here for me? Okay, yeah, we're good. So I'm just going to use the end here. I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a little smudgy thing on it. I'm just gonna smudge, 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 okay? Now next is where the magic comes in and we're gonna take this really black shade right here and we're gonna use that to smoke it out, okay? So we're gonna concentrate right there where we put the black liner on top and bottom and we're gonna create like a smoke smoke it out and like blend it out you know but we're concentrating mostly on the black liner and just like a simple smoke because like what we don't want to do is just like put a bunch of black all over our lids and then like I don't know if you can tell, but like mostly what you see is the red on the outside and then the black is closer to the lash line so that Yeah, because like if you do too much of the black and you don't blend it enough, it ends up looking like a panda or something Like you can tell that it's not well blended and this might take a second, okay? I just want to make sure that we really blend it out because we're being really conservative black um, eyeshadow that we're putting on here, okay? Alright, and of course on the bottom, there we go. Now, can you look at me again? Okay, that's looking really good so far. Yeah, it looks really good. There are just a few things that I need to do still. Okay. Pretty neat. Okay. Next, I want to add a little bit of a sparkle. A sparkle. To the inner part. I like the inner corner. We could go crazy and do it also on the bottom or whatever, but just for you, we're going to keep it simple. Now, this is really pretty, um, it's new, I've used it like once before, so I'm just gonna, and you 
can use it as like a glitter liner or something, but I just like to
did your lips? I'm just gonna put a little something on my lips here. This is some lip gloss. So, how are you feeling? Good? Yeah? Are you feeling like super awesome and like cool and ready to be asked out on a date? There we go. Okay. Looking good. Okay. Next. You know what I think really helps? A scent. So, personally, I have a scent for everything, every occasion. Um, so let me, there's two I'd like you to choose from, okay? So... This one is Loctane on Provence Vervian. Okay. Actually, I won't even go into what they are and what they smell like. I just want you to choose based on the color. Yeah, because I feel like that's how things really work out sometimes, you know? So, look at the colors here. Look at the colors, the colors, the colors. I want you to look at the color that you want and follow it, okay? Just follow the color that you want. Follow the color that you want. Keep following it. There we go. Follow the color that you want. Okay. Now, are you set on that color? Is that the scent that you want? Okay, well, either way, I'm going to have you try this one because I think it's going to be really awesome on you just for your vibe, you know? So, ready? Hold still. Okay, now just like... like sit and wait for them to ask you out so oh I wanted to put tattoos on your face that's right um I don't have oh I have a pen I have a pen okay hold still just want to draw a little heart a little heart right here a little heart a little heart right 
good. Okay, let me see. Mm, yeah. That looks really good. Okay. Let's do a star right over here. A star. A star right there. really good on you. Yeah, you look really badass. At least I think so. <sighs> Alright, well, turn around and I'll just like play with your hair or something and we can wait for them to walk up and ask you. Oh, they're so jealous. Yeah, I'm not even sure if they're into this to be super honest. But what I do know is that they've been so jealous this whole time, they keep looking over. Yeah. Yeah. The fact that I've just been, like, talking with you, they look so uncomfortable. Yeah. They're so worried. <laughs> okay, turn around. I'm gonna play with your hair and see if they walk up.
if you want sunset from sunburn, you can use my code MIKE ASMR2 for 55% 